Here we have the experience in the workplace one, portfolio assignment, which is component B, for the um, foundation degree award. Quite importantly, this module assignment is in some ways quite similar to your individual organisational report, which you've already started, which is well underway. It's about reflection to the workplace and you reviewing and reflecting on what you do and what actually happens in your chosen place of work. Here we have the handout dates, Thursday 4th of March, and the hand-in date, very importantly, the 26th of April. Where it says deadline in this assignment, and it's, I'm underlining it and highlighting it now, deadline, that's the last possible date. So students, please remember to get it in before then, and it's in C106, as you know, at the DOGS campus. The learning outcomes are slightly less in this assignment than they are in the first one because you are going to be hopefully meeting to a very good standard the other four and here are the last two from the um, experience in the workplace module learning outcomes. This assignment represents 50% of the final mark um, so it's 50-50 for the two assignments equally balanced over this module. The portfolio, which you are asked to produce for this, is a collection of evidence from the workplace. This can be um, various things, information, uh, primary and secondary research, and you can present this or present your findings, your research, your uh, material gathered from the workplace in a very structured form. Now, it's quite wide-ranging, this is. There is no set structure as such to how you will be presenting this, but I'll speak to you individually and a group and give you some good examples and some guidance on how you can submit this clearly structured, well-labeled portfolio. But this must include information on the department you work, the function and the purpose of the department or section you work in. This is very important. And then you will go on to explain the activities that go on within this department or organisation, if it's in a small company. Be very, um, be, be, be very aware it's important to mention the impact of customers with this, because as you will know from doing other modules, Without customers or consumers or stakeholders, for most companies, they probably wouldn't, wouldn't exist. Then we look at the organisational culture. So you will describe the culture and then link and refer to relevant theory, i.e. motivation. You've got the Maslow's motivation, you've got the Mayo, you've got the um, management theories, Adair, um, you've got the... We've covered quite a few over the, uh, the course of the, um, uh, of the foundation degree so far that you can refer to. But choose the relevant um, theory, uh, whether it be leadership, motivation, marketing, finance, whichever, that's, that, that, that impacts on the activities as in section one. Um, you'll also have to put your own perception and your opinion, which is subjective, of and describing the culture and why you believe the culture is in place there. Historical, uh, modern change, technology, there's loads of things you can mention there. If you get stuck, we can have a bit, a bit more of a deeper chat uh, to guide you on this in the classes. Okay. Point three is the organizational structure. This is this was done in the OMB unit, uh, the OMB module, which we did in the first semester. So for guidance on this, um, you need to have a look at your OMB assignment and research, which has a great impact on, the, on how you're going to address this organisational structure question, identify and describe organisational structure, and add a possible and add the organisational chart in. Stakeholders, we've covered this in the unit and in OMB and in marketing primarily of um, a stakeholder. What actually is a stakeholder? Please look at your research and notes for this. Well, I'm sure you will find 
um, the correct answers. And you have to identify and describe the stakeholders of the business, stroke the organisation and the impact of them. The fifth part of this is describe what role you fulfilled in the workplace. Describe how the role you did or are doing within this workplace um, fits into the department or the section. What activities do you carry out? What duties do you do? You, do, you do? Have you had training? Um, are there set procedures you must follow? Then you look at the skills you've, you've gained. And the knowledge of the company, something you've learned while you've been there. Um, you may want to think about talking about the people and the interpersonal skills, the, the team working skills. You may have done some presentations, you may not. You may have watched some presentations in the workplace, some training. Um, you can mention this. The importance of time management. Any problem solving techniques which you've come across. Anything somebody, you, you viewed somebody solving problems. It could be to do with customers, it could be to do with finance. Uh, there is research skills, which you will have come across during the course. And um, also things like the writing, the note taking of minutes, this sort of thing. Okay, I hope this has helped and um, please see me if you have any other questions for the portfolio assignment for experience in the workplace. Okay, thank you.